Hello everybody, very happy to be with you today for this webinar uh, about uh, uh, great bundles of solutions for surveyors. Uh, before to let uh, hands to my colleague, I just would like to precise that this webinar is recorded and you can make a lot of uh, questions in the, you have a section to make all your questions. As we are a lot of people today, uh, we will try to reply all of them uh, during many times the webinar and if not, uh, we will give you a personalized reply uh, after that. Today, uh, it's accompanying me uh, my colleague uh, Antonio Pardo, uh, which is an engineer surveyor, Francis uh, José Prat, uh, which is a um, uh, 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 informatician, and uh, Victor Gao uh, will introduce you a CAD. Victor, can you shut on your mic? Can you open your microphone? I'm gonna. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, David. Can you hear me? Good. Yeah, we hear you and we see your screen. So please go ahead. Okay. Okay. Thank you, David. Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, this is Victor from the GW Talk. And I'm so glad that, that I will sharing our uh, company's product to you. Okay, firstly, let me uh, simply introduce our company. We are a company from China and uh, our headquarters in Guangzhou. And also we have six other uh, branch offices uh, in the world. Uh, for example, in the USA or in the, uh, Mexico or other uh, like we, Vietnam. And Okay, and here is some numbers of our company. And for now, we have 800 staff are working with us. And our products are selling to over 90 countries. And meanwhile, we have 260 uh, partners are cooperating with us. And there's about uh, over 900,000 people are choosing CWCAT as their design tool. And uh, except for the zero cap, we also have other products. For example, the zero cap mechanical, zero uh, 3D is um, is a solution for uh, CAD and CAM software, and we have zero SIM, it's a CAE uh, software. The CAP Pocket is our mobile devices. CAP Pro is a 3D viewer. And okay, in this part, I will uh, introduce the zero cap 2020. And here I summary six highlights of our product. And in the last uh, part, I will uh, explain this uh, one by one. And the first one, uh, I think is the lightweight. Our, our software is smaller. And the second is the zero, zero learning costs. And we have the same operation mode with other mainstream CAD software. And the third, uh, the third point I think uh, is most users care about is about the DWG compatibility. And the fourth point is the practical features and some basic features we have. And the fifth point is about the API ability. And the last point is about our value added tools. Okay, let's uh, explain this uh, one by one. And about the lightweight, lightweight means that our software size is very small. It's about uh, 500 megabytes. A smaller size means that we have uh, faster installation time and uh, loading times. And we also have another uh, advantage is that when we are opening some large size, uh, I mean some drawing maybe more than 100 megabytes, we have a very competitive speed to open it. And also, we are very friendly with some computer with low configuration. Uh, we now, for now, for CWCAD 2020, we still support Windows XP, XP, uh, XP free versions. And of course, uh, we can run in other uh, versions like Windows 7, 8, or 10. Okay, and this part I think is uh, most people uh, care about. And as we all know, DWG is the most important format in the CAD software. And here I am very confident to tell you that uh, any DWG drawings uh, which are uh, designed by other CAD software can be 
perfectly read and low in the DWCAT 2020 without any data loops. Uh, besides DWG format, we also support other uh, formats like the DWT, the template format, or the DXF format, the DWF format, or other um, format we can uh, export it. Like the PDF, the JPG, not the PNG, we can import it this file in the zero cat as the reference. Okay, and and this part is about the zero rate learning course. Why we set a zero rate learning course? Because you can see uh, this uh, background image is our software's uh, interface. I think you must be very familiar with that, right? You can see some uh, general function we will have like the command and shortcuts and the, the ribbon panel or the properties panels or toolbar or dynamic input. Input like this is very familiar for you. And as I mentioned a bit, uh, in the uh, previous uh, slides that our, our software size is small, but it doesn't represent we don't have a rich command so in this version, we are now I uh, have 640 commands and 525 system variables. So this is a very we have very rich features in it. Here I, I list some um, frequent use function here, like the dimension model or the layer model or some uh, simple command like flip chain and wipeout like this. We all have. And uh, in my own experience, I often use ZeroCAD and other software, uh, CAD software, and I think there will not have much difference when I, I'm doing the design job uh, by these two uh, CAD software. So I think you, you may try it. And of course, we have a very powerful API ability. So with this API ability, we can help our developers immigrant their uh, product on our platform. For now, we support four interfaces like Lisp, uh, CRX, VBA, and .NET four times of interface. And oh, uh, outside the zero cat, we also will develop some tools to give our user a better experience uh, to use this tool with we cat together. For example, like this one, Network License Analysis Tool. The short name is NLAT. Uh, this is a uh, data managed tool. With this tool, you can easily to collect the license data. For example, you can know how many licenses you are using and how many licenses you are unused. Or even you can know uh, how many hours you staff to running the cat in a day. And another very important point is that we can control users' permission to acquire the license from the servers with this NL82. So this is a um, really powerful tool for the users uh, who use the network version of the WCAT. And the other the other tools I want to recommend to you is the DWG converter. This 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 is converter is help you to fit, uh, freely freely switch between the different DWG format. As you can see, you can see the pictures. And then, uh, as we know, the newest uh, format is DWG 2018. So if you have some requirement to uh, create a lower version uh, DW files, so you can use this tool to transfer it to to switch it. We offer you can see so many different uh, DW format here. Okay, and this part is uh, another uh, product I, I just mentioned is called a cap pocket. A cat pocket is a mobile cat tool. So with this cat pocket, you can easily view your drawings on your mobile device. For example, your cell phone, your, your iPad, or something like this. Or even you can 
uh, edit it, you can do some uh, simple operation like draw a line or delete something or give some annotation on it. And of course, the, the another important point of this product is that they it has a collabor collaboration function. So with this collaboration function, you can work with your colleagues uh, without the space limitation. So it's very uh, uh, suitable for the situation like this. We all are working from home. So use the capoc, you can more easily to work with your colleague. And also all of these drawings, we can upload to two very popular online cloud storage, like a Dropbox, like the OneDrive, or something like that. And if you guys are interested of this product, you can scan the QR code in the left corner to have a try. And this part is about our service and support. Uh, normally, we now uh, offer three ways to contact our technical uh, specialist. The first one is... Okay, so it seems we got the shortcut. Very sorry for today. Uh, I'm in order to don't make any uh, labs, we are going to follow up and I'm going to take uh, my presentations. Uh, by the way, you can download in the, uh, um, uh, you can download uh, in, from a uh, handout a brochure of ZVCAD in order you can uh, check all the information given by Victor actually. Um, let me shut down and the microphone of Victor and let's continue uh, our uh, presentations. Uh, I'm going to be quick introducing Applitop uh, because I suppose that you would like to get information and demonstration. So today as it is an international uh, webinar, we have Chinese accent, my French accent and in following we will have some several uh, Spanish accents. Applitop uh, is a Spanish company, we are based in Malaga, and we are surveyors, uh, software developers for surveying and civil engineering. We have uh, more than 15, between 15 to 18 users licensed worldwide with a presence in 86 countries. Uh, our success is because uh, we offer license very easy to use, very um, at a very competitive price, and this is, oh sorry, and this is uh, uh, the main value of Applitop as well as the after sales service. We work through and exclusively uh, through distributors previously selected in order to give a first local support. And uh, uh, our support is always replying to you, uh, replying to you. We offer several kinds of training, uh, training uh, from basic uh, to advanced, and also we highly recommend you to visit uh, our YouTube channel uh, because there is a lot of uh, information with different subtitles uh, available in different languages. About our quality, we have the ISO 9001 or innovative SME from give by the Spanish government. Some innovative projects that we highly recommend you to check in our webpage and let you know that we develop so much for our software, but also for private company or so much for public uh, uh, projects. This is some of the university and association we work with at the international level. Uh, uh, talk about Land XML, or uh, which is a generic format of exchange, or Building Smart, uh, which is a format uh, for the promotion of BIM format, because Applitab is certainly one of the pioneer company working in the BIM format for the surveying. <coughs> what about our know-how? Uh, our application are able to, to, to do different kind of projects, okay, from roads, quarries, mines, and a lot of things. But what it is important to know is that our development partners are based on uh, Android, Apple, S3, Intel, and Microsoft. We are multi 
cross-platform, but today we want to precise that ZVSoft is a really nice bundle because it is on the same philosophy of AppliTop, a cost-effective solution, permanent, and uh, really focused to be useful for the clients. So really, really effective bundles. Some brands agreements we have with different companies in which we get the last instrument in order to be connected. Uh, this is a not exhaustive company, but this is with the company we work with a, a more strange uh, relation. With AppliTap is uh, for family software. So today we will have a mix between field works up to surveying project, a mix. Uh, of our solution. We have also tunnel software and software for photogrammetry. Our current research area is to work on, a, uh, on our solution about a point cloud. By the way, I inform you that we are at the point to release our new software for point cloud management, uh, augmented reality, drone and beam for infrastructure. Our national reference are the big contractors like SACIR, ACCIONA or Spanish government. And at international level, we have several projects uh, which uh, give us uh, the best credential, like the underground of New York, of Mumbai, or for example, uh, the big project in Riyadh, where they are using all the application, these 12 lines of underground done in the meantime, or Panavial, which is the highway who will cross all the United States in the east part. So we have done part in uh, uh, Canada, Ecuador, uh, Peru, and actually working in Colombia and Panama. And this is to introduce quickly AppliTap, and now I will let you uh, with my colleague uh, Jose Prat. So my name is Jose Prat. Um, I'm an Android developer in, in AppliTop. Um, I'm going to show you the main features uh, of our uh, TCP GPS software for Android. Uh, here uh, you have the main screen when you enter the application where the first thing you can do is to uh, connect to the uh, receiver. Our application has different option options for uh, connecting receivers. You can connect the internal receiver of your device, an external receiver via Bluetooth or a simulator receiver if you, for example, need to make a presentation. If you want to connect uh, to an external receiver, you have different options. Uh, we support uh, a list uh, of uh, of devices, uh, GNSS devices, where, where we can configure in different uh, modes. Uh, but uh, you can use uh, any other uh, device that, with the only restrictions, we uh, the application needs to ha uh, need the NMEA. Uh, messages for for working. Uh, almost all the the devices in the market uh, support this uh, this format. So for this presentation, we are going to use the simulator uh, because we are uh, now we are at the office. <laughs> and the first thing we are going to connect to the simulator receiver. And the next thing you can do is to uh, choose. Uh, the project you want to uh, to work with. Uh, you can select an old uh, project uh, or you can create a new one. Here you can set the name of the project, the order of the project, even uh, put uh, some commentaries and you can set the coordinate system uh, to your uh, project by cre selecting one of the previously created or creating your own coordinate system using the EPC EPSG uh, database. We have here uh, classified all of uh, the coordinate system by continents. In each continent, uh, for example, uh, each country, for example, China or India. And you can sell the, you can choose the coordinate system, <coughs> the datum shift, and a geoid if it is available. So we are going to use uh, this coordinate system uh, that belongs to Spain. 
And the next thing you can, and you have to enter the application for starting to work. Uh, here, uh, you have the main screen for surveying, where uh, uh, the application display a map of the area you are uh, you are uh, you are uh, the area you are, and you can change uh, between different types of maps, satellites, uh, topographic, or street. And even you can add uh, your own cartographies, uh, selecting from one of these uh, types, DXF, KML, GML, shape, even you can add WMS uh, layers <coughs> if you can connect to any service uh, that offers it this uh, type of, of information. For example, we are going to add a DXF layer where we have two options. We can load it, load it from our local device or we can choose it uh, from our Google Drive account. We are we have uh, we are connected to our Google Drive account, so we are going to choose one from uh, the cloud. For example, we are going to choose that uh, that DXF, and we are going to add it to our project. So it is downloading it and drawing it on our map. So here you have our DXF loaded into our map. It could be useful if, for example, we don't have uh, internet connection and we don't have access to uh, the Azure maps. The next thing we can do is to uh, select or the code we want to use with, or we want to, uh, uh, to assign to our points. We have a previously loaded uh, database of codes, but we can create our own, own codes. For example, uh, uh, for example, uh, we can choose uh, if we want to, if the code is punctual, uh, punctual or linear, the color of the, of the uh, points we are going to take with these codes. And then we can start to uh, work with this code. We are going to choose uh, this code for our example, a path code, and you can see uh, our uh, movement along the uh, along the path. Uh, so we we can take uh, singular points by pressing this button. We can uh, take it manually. So you can see how the a line uh, is a building builder and even we can start a continuous uh, a continuous um, surveying uh, by choosing one of these options uh, we can take points by time interval we can take points by a distant interval or uh, or by a difference in uh, ramp sample we are going to end this line and we are going to start a new line with a distant interval of, for example, five meters. And then it starts to, continue. well, uh, it continues the line because it was not close. Uh, so uh, it uh, automatically takes the points. We can stop the recording at any time and even close the line if, we, for example, we want to create a parcel. For example, in this case, we are going to say no. And if we choose uh, the line by pressing on it, we get information about uh, this line. Uh, even in, in our case, uh, we can uh, uh, measure distance by choosing the points, for example. And we have other tools for generate for creating new points uh, uh, from the the points in our project. We have different uh, tools like like for example 
an intersection of lines, intersection of a line on a circle, intersection between circles. Even we can compute points uh, using a distance and azimuth for a point for the uh, selected point, or choosing uh, two points and uh, and a distance. So uh, now we are going to uh, show another uh, the other feature of uh, main feature of the application that is stake out, and we can stake out points uh, ver vertices of polylines lines choosing two points uh, and defining a line be uh, between that uh, points and a surface analysis that we are going to show later uh, when we create a digital model. For this. Uh, for this example, we are going to use, uh, sorry, another uh, project uh, we prepare for that, uh, uh, for this uh, webinar, and we are going to change the simulation uh, file. Now it's so easy to change the line and then we start uh, here we have different points that marks lamps in our uh, in our map and we are going to access the uh, stake out point uh, option then the nearest point is choose uh, when we enter the uh, this option and we are going to choose the next point so you can see here a, a map where uh, a line this, uh, is pointing to the uh, point we want to uh, we want to reach we will have different modes for staking out uh, for using uh, where we use different re different reference for example movement uh, north we use the north as reference last point or the sun even we have different other uh, modes for help us to uh, stake out the point. For example, this is a compass mode where we can uh, get the orientation towards the uh, point and it is recommended for when we are uh, far away from the point. When we are uh, close to the point, we can use this target mode where we can get uh, precise uh, information about the movement we have we have to uh, to make for reaching the point. Even we have uh, another uh, staking out mode that is, is uh, augmented reality mode. Uh, we are going to show it uh, with a, with an image because uh, we are at the office and it is complicated to reproduce it. And you can you can see here the uh, representation of the points uh, into reality, and you can. Uh, use it uh, for orientating uh, you uh, where your points are. Okay, so uh, in we have other options uh, when we finish or when we have uh, our, our work uh, done, uh, we have different options for checking the points we take. For example, we have a list of points with a basic data. We can check the raw data, but well, uh, we have here only one point that uh, because uh, the other points are, impo uh, uh, are imported. We have here detailed data. Even we, we can uh, check uh, the staked out point where uh, we have uh, here the differences between the taken point and the uh, measure points, the, the staked point. So even we here we can uh, check the detailed information of the point. Even we can take a photo or uh, or add a notice a boy a notice voice note voice uh, voice note uh, for describing the. Uh, uh, the point we have here the direct information where we, this point does not have any the direct information and oh, well
So, we, as I said before, that points we use in that example were imported. We have different also for we have we can import points from DXF, KML, and uh, TXT files uh, with uh, the final formats. And even we can uh, export our uh, work in different. Uh, formats. So for example, we can export points, the points of the of our project, the raw data of that point, the staked, the, the data of the staked out points. Uh, well, we can export a digital model to DXF, and we uh, we will see that uh, later. And even we can synchronize our project with our Google Drive uh, account in order to have the uh, project uh, available. Uh, for example, on our PC or on any device that can connect to uh, the Google Drive. If we want to export points, we have different formats to export. MDT is the first for uh, this this uh, format. Uh, this option generates uh, files uh, that can be used with our TCP MDT software. Uh, TXT format, uh, CSV format, DXML, uh, GML, KML or shape formats. And then uh, we are going to uh, show uh, a couple of uh, features that are available in the uh, professional in an advanced uh, version of our application that are uh, digital models and uh, routes. For this uh, first we are going to show uh, the digital model we have we prepare uh, Another project where we can uh, see. Let me change our simulation uh, file. Okay. So we we can see here. Uh, uh, digital, generated digital model with uh, curve lines. Uh, we uh, so it is represented on our uh, surveying mode, but we can assess. We can create our own digital models in that option. Here you can see the uh, points we use. Uh, we are, we use for generating this. Uh, uh, this model and if you want to create a new model you can do it in that option for uh, uh, using triangulation for the generation you can select the name of the uh, digital model the color you can add break lines or in that case we don't have any break lines uh, you can uh, add break lines uh, to the com computation of the of the model even you can uh, contour lines, as like we said before, choosing their name, the interval of the uh, contour lines, and the color of each uh, type of contour line. Uh, that digital model we can can we use can can be used in surface analysis, where we can get information about the difference of height between. Uh, the current point and or uh, the 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 model. For example, in, in that case, we are out of the uh, of the model, but here you can you can see uh, if we move along the the model, you can see the information we receive from it. The last option we I I'd like to to show you uh, is the uh, route the possibility for working with routes in uh, TCP GPS. We are going to open another, the last uh, project <laughs> that case. So let me change again the simulator receiver. And In that case, we have that route 
load you can uh, load uh, import a road uh, using land XML land XML format or uh, the TCP MD, MDT formats uh, uh, RAS, TRA and EGE. You can you can see here the information about that road. We have an alignment with the graphic description and the uh, numerical description. Here we have the grid line with the same information, uh, graphical and uh, numerical. And the cross sections we are going to use or that are associated to uh, this model. We can travel along the the different cross section that uh, compounds our, our road. With these uh, roads, we can uh, stake, stake out uh, the alignment and align the, the, the road. And we have here the different options where we can select uh, an alignment if we have uh, several. We can set an interval of points, even we can add the singular points of our uh, alignment. I mean, if you have cross sections, you can use one of them. For example, for getting information uh, in uh, top view or uh, front view, we can we access the stakeout uh, screen, and we have here information from uh, top, the top view. Here we have the alignment, the different points on the alignment. And we have here the uh, front view where we can compare the height in our, using our uh, grade line or uh, um, uh, cross sections. The last uh, option we have, we can do with uh, road is to uh, make a slope control where we can choose the, the alignment the uh, cross section we want to use and configuring it we can uh, make that uh, that is lock control and well uh, that's that's all uh, that are the main features of our <coughs> application and well uh, I'm uh, uh, thank you everyone for uh, assist to, to this uh, to this webinar Okay. Hello, everybody. I am Antonio Pardo Rodriguez. I am a survey engineer and cartography and geodetic engineer. And I've been working for a long time in several kind of projects uh, linked to the civil engineer. Uh, I'm going to, to transmit uh, how it works with TCP MDT. And the main idea to, to I want to set is that, that MDT is a software that where you can find many many uh, you can you can find many tools where you can solve uh, the 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 work day by day in your different uh, project okay and to carry out uh, the project successfully okay so uh, we are going to follow with the sample with the, my colleague uh, Jose Prat. Uh, uh, we are going to import the, the point that we measure there <coughs> outside in, in, in that project. Okay, I'm going to import the project, the, the list of the point. And the first of all, this is the window where we can define the format for importation the, the point. And I am, I think, Oh, I prefer to to focus our attention in draw from cuts, okay? Because each uh, option uh, allow us uh, to give uh, uh, to give uh, agility to to draw quickly uh, the puntual or liner entity uh, quickly, okay? In this case, I'm going to configuration to choose the code database. The code database is only the 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 dictionary where you can translate code and the way of representation of each entity okay you can use a different code database uh, for example depend depend on the the work or maybe uh, the language ATC okay 
uh, in this case I'm going to draw them okay I'm going to select the natural terrain that we have missed it there and right now the 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 entity punctual or linear punt uh, or linear entity has been drawn uh, directly and automatically okay uh, only to hi highlight uh, the for example the fence that the wonder of the plot of land okay or maybe the brick line the mainly brick line in the slope or the strip put for the pavement the line or maybe the the parking uh, only to say that or uh, focus our attention in the punctual the punctual entity like this kind of entity okay I'm going to change the in control vision to show the code of the of the point okay I'm going to hide the height and the name okay you only to say that we we can use one point to to draw the block or maybe we can use two point or three point this is a novel in this version uh, MDD8 okay the first point is to locate the block and maybe if we use two points we can we can use the second point to make uh, to set to the software the the direction and the scale of that block okay and uh, 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 and the other way we can use three points in this case we can use a different scale for x direction and y direction okay so that's that way or oh, this workflow is very easy and get uh, to reduce or allow us reduce uh, many hours of work in office okay now we can check the the list like uh, my colleague Jose Prat uh, do before done before and this point for example and we can check every every point and the same thing we can check the raw data that we 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 took in the moment of that acquisition okay one in the in the same line that my colleague said before uh, we can ch uh, show the the external the external the external data like a picture that we took in the that moment for example by hyperlink that we can link it with the that point okay in this case i'm going to to show that open hyperlink in this case I say at that point I can show one picture that I took in that moment that that when when I measure that point okay it's good or very uh, it's very useful because you, you can relate or you can link link it uh, maybe one picture or one notebook or maybe one report from that point is very useful for for many application okay so now we are going to create a surface but well, only uh, I'm going to, to show that we are going to create a map from that uh, example and I'm going to we are going to use only the standard vision of the MDD okay surface create surface there are many tools to play with the surface to editing to representation earthwork in surface uh, ADC uh, create surface and now we are going to to this is to to give a name to the new surface and now we are going to triangulate that entity that uh, we are going to click on point and break line only to say that the point that are, the break line that are selected are selected automatically because we used before the code database and they are, are uh, selected uh, indicated uh, in that in that way okay now we are going to to use the maximum length criteria to define the boundary of the triangulation okay and we are going to do it okay here is here is the, our triangulation um, um, we are going to analyze quickly quick profile for example we can say a quick profile okay we can show the section of that of the survey okay or maybe we can make a cross section quickly okay to show I'm going to change the the vertical factor okay or maybe better one to show the this face of the hill 
the slope and the section section of the street okay we can analyze a different data like a high or maybe the the slope that is included in the in the in the graph okay so for me I think the best way to to represent the the relief of the survey is to use the contour line okay so I'm going to to create a contour line I'm going to use uh, the interval the half meter I always I check the height that that are in the survey for for avoid uh, some errors uh, that it possible it could be possible. <clears throat> I'm going to deselect uh, applied color. I'm going to use a smooth factor, for example, L3, okay, or four, to choose a, a good control line there okay in the same way I'm going to label the contour line okay and we can choose a, a automatic way to put the text uh, each uh, for each uh, contour line at the end of the of the contour line okay or maybe we can use another another option like a direction direction line where we can define the direction to put the different text, okay, is very useful and easy to to use. Okay, now we are going to show the our 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 work in 3D, okay, because I'm, normally I use I use it in in 3D. Okay, I'm going to use 3D orbit from set the cat. Okay, if we can see the our work in 3D okay uh, we it's configurable we can change uh, to work in 2D it's not it's not uh, exclusive okay I'm going to to come back to the top view okay and now I'm going to deselect our surface to show only the contour line and now I'm going to compare our work with with one image that we can use okay for example in image image we can insert an image or maybe we can use a web service web map services where we can find a different a different a ortho image that we can use in that kind of project okay in this case we are i am going to use a, a, a ortho image that i took by by drone fly in in that project okay uh, here is our our image only before before i'm i'm going to notice that in the line in command line there are one message that at the mdt said 2276 triangle were affected and that means that in this step uh, the the model the digital model of the triangulation it was be uh, mapped with the color of the image I'll say it that thing is very important if we have time at the end and uh, to make a virtual route around the the surface to, like a like a walking uh, around the surface okay so in this state uh, I'm going to to co to compare uh, that surface uh, with with uh, another surface like a, like a, a earthwork was being uh, done. Okay, for that I am going to to create a new draw. Yeah, I'm going to repeat. I'm going to repeat the the same workflow. Point import point. I'm going to import the I'm going to import the 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 modified terrain okay to replace the same work okay I'm going to create the surface okay I'm going to to say modify it modified terrain okay okay uh, in this case I'm going to use a one boundary one boundary limit, okay, okay, and here is 
our our not and our terrain modified terrain okay and the same way I'm going to create a contour line I'm going to apply a color we can choose a different band of a palette of colors okay uh, okay here here is the layer of the color and we can show how is the top and the the lower the lower uh, higher so we can make a cross section quickly to show the section of the of the work okay there are different uh, statements to to that they were made with the machinery okay and now we are going to calculate a volume between between both surface okay for that we are going to create a, a, a horizontal line uh, from since one uh, brick line okay in this case I'm going to use brick line come uh, sorry uh, or alignment convert polyline to alignment yeah, I'm going to select one brick line to convert uh, alignment okay I'm going to say alignment one I'm going to click on export to file and dimension align okay to create a, a, the file this is the file that I'm going to save I'm going to to show to dimension that alignment with that option okay and this is our our alignment and this is the dimension okay uh, we can check nearly uh, 200 meter okay and now with this process with this uh, uh, horizontal alignment or axis we are going to get the cross section so now we are going to to cross section cross section and I'm going to use get from several surface okay I'm going to get the cross section at the same time the both surface between the first of all I'm going to select the natural terrain okay and then I'm going to select the modified terrain okay okay is select the 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 horizontal align in this case we can define the the parameter to set up the cross section the more important thing is the the weight of the of the the profile okay the profile length in this case 250 meter on the left and 25 uh, on the right and the interval the interval five meter okay in this in this case uh, this parameter is mm, how how to set the query to go to 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 measure the the surface okay okay uh, yeah right now are finished the the cross section we are going to calculate volume from that way okay quantity takeoff volume cross section different this is the way we are going to to calculate the the volume okay we are going to select the natural terrain that just uh, got a modified terrain in this case we can change for example the calculate method in this case we are going to use average area and we can change the the top soil if we have one one weight but we don't go to change okay uh, I'm going to choose the horizontal line okay and now the software this is going to to show the report of the calcul of the of the earth work that carry out there okay uh, there are the column to to the cut area fill area and topsoil and the same for the volume okay and uh, here is the final result for that for that report okay I'm going to export Excel to compare them with another way okay here is the same report okay I'm going oh sorry I'm going to 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 highlight the final result okay I'm going to highlight now I'm going to draw the cross section in that in that way I'm going to click on one point to draw the cross section to compare both surface by cross cross section 
okay? Uh, here is our cross-section to define the, the earthwork that carry out there, okay? In the same way, I'm going to, to do uh, by another way. In this case, I'm going to use uh, quantitative takeoff, volume, surface difference, okay? Now, the same before way, I use a five meter, now I'm going to use one meter in the, aqu the aquary to define the cell size, okay? Natural terrain between modified terrain, okay? And this is the report that the application gives us the final result of the cat volume and field volume, okay? There are some difference we can compare, okay? There are some different, and that different is due to the fact that uh, the weight of the of the calcul, okay? For this kind of the of the of the project, punctual project, it's better to use a, a different surface difference than than the cross section difference because the cross section difference is better way to to project like a linear project like a road a tra a rail train uh, ATC okay now we are going to draw the same the same thing the the volume the volume difference uh, between them surface okay and now we can we can check directly where the area for to to fill area and where the the cut area okay now we can check the different the high difference five meter for example in this area okay and here there are uh, uh, six meters six or seven meter to cut to cut volume uh, in this area so i finished my webinar i hope that you have enjoyed with that webinar uh, i'm led with my i'm led you with my colleague david david Yes, Antonio, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to follow up, uh, take control, just give me one second. Okay, my presenters, show my screen too. Okay, perfect. So thank you very much for participating in this webinar. Uh, I highly recommend you to visit our webpage if you want to have more information about the solution we have introduced to you uh, today, okay? So, for example, if you need uh, some more information, you can download our dossier or here request for a free uh, trial uh, version. So, same as for TCP MDT. Uh, if you want to get a quote, as I told before, we work through exclusively uh, previously selected distributors, so you can form in your country which are the official distributors we have. Uh, uh, we have Always you can contact us and we can give you some recommendation in case of. Uh, to tell you also that we have uh, uh, different webinars in course. Uh, to you, I highly to recommend you to go to news webinars to get in touch and also when it will be finished you will be you can go to Applitop uh, Academy and you will find all the video of uh, the, in the video library all the webinar we are gonna to manage in the coming uh, uh, in the coming uh, months. Uh, the next webinar will be about our solution for tunnels. It will be on the next Tuesday and we are at your disposal at any moment for any question you may have. Uh, thank you to ZVCAD to be with us today, particularly ZWVCAD and to Victor Gao, and we keep in touch uh, soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.